Coronation Street legend Roy Cropper faces death next week and is rushed to hospital, as he collapses after being targeted by a group of yobs on the ITV soap. The Weatherfield legend is left fighting for his life, with paramedics battling to save him before he is rushed to hospital. The character is still being harassed after he was accused of murdering Lauren Bolton. Despite him being released after being proven innocent, a group of tormentors return to harass him next week, weeks on from initially causing trouble. But as they gather around him it seems he's attacked, as he ends up falling to the ground. Later on he's found collapsed, with him in serious peril, but will he die? It all kicks off when Roy is confronted by the gang, who call him names and follow him. As they close in on him a scared Roy begs them to leave him alone, and soon he stumbles to the floor. It's not clear if he falls or if he is injured, but he's left in pain as Carla Connor rushes to his aid. Later in the episode Roy is in the cafe and orders everyone to leave, as he struggles with recent events. But as Nina Lucas and Shona Platt make their way back thereafter, they are panicked to see an ambulance speeding round the corner and parking up outside. As they rush into the cafe they are in turmoil, as they find Roy collapsed on the floor with a paramedic performing CPR on him. They battle to save him, and he's soon rushed to hospital and placed on a ventilator. Roy drifts in and out of consciousness as he fights for his life, with him even sure he is hallucinating at one point. But will Roy make a full recovery, and will the group be punished for the pain they have caused? Roy has had a difficult few months ever since he was imprisoned over Lauren's murder. Nathan Curtis has since been charged with the crime, while fans know it was Joel Deering who was actually behind it and has since covered his tracks.